Good morning, how's it going? I hope you guys are doing well. I can't say anything, but we just got out of church. It was uh, really fun at the movies. We watched The Martian. I'm not exactly sure what I mean by at the movies. We do this uh, thing at church where we watch modern day movies and our pastor takes different clips and makes a gospel message out of them. It's really cool. Anyway, now we're gonna go get some tzatzikis. Finished with tzatzikis and we're back home and Anna has enlisted the use of her mom's bow making skills to make a bow for the top of our tree. How are you gonna get up there? How are you gonna get up there? <laughs> That was a nice uh, little turnaround there. <laughs> how are you gonna? How are you gonna get up there? Um, I'm gonna do this. Oh. Wow, could you do that one more time where I can get your? Oh. Wow, that was pretty good. You look like you're playing volleyball or something. I'm not playing volleyball. My form is awful. My head. Huh. Beautiful. My mom is very talented in many things, but she's super talented at tying bows. I have always loved the way she tied bows. And yes, I could have YouTubed it and figured out how to tie it, but she ties such pretty bows. How could I resist just getting her to do it for me? <sighs> anyway, I think it, it ties the tree all together now. I think that's really what it was missing before. It's just a very pretty bow. We need to hang that too. So many things to hang. So many things to hang. We'll get to it eventually. I mean, we've only been living here a month. You'd think that we'd be finished putting it all together by now, right? that everyone thinks that their Christmas tree is the prettiest Christmas tree ever, but I'm pretty sure we have the prettiest Christmas tree ever. It just feels so homey and, I don't know, it just feels nice. There's a lot of words I could use to describe it, but it's just us. I just love it. It's beautiful. And it's starting to feel a lot like Christmas, to sound cliche. You know, it's getting much colder during the days. It's It's been warmer before, but now it's getting colder. It's getting to the point where I'm wearing long sleeve shirts, and when I leave the house, I consider always having a jacket where, I mean, not that long ago, I was wearing shorts outside. And I don't know what the weather's like where you live, but by this time, it should already have been cold enough to not wear shorts. The shorts should be put up in a storage container somewhere. So I'm just thankful that we're finally getting there winter. Good job, good job. And Anna is finishing up putting out these little Christmas decorations. I love them. We're getting ready to do Christmas card stuff, which we'll keep you guys updated on. And the sled is out that Heather made, and Rue is already messing up our rugs because that's what Rue does. She just messes up our rugs, but whatever. And look at this. Have you talked about the Strauss Hollow illustration yet? Well, this one is the one for winter. We have one for fall that we had up, and you can see my reflection. Anyway, this is Stars Hollow from the show Gilmore Girls, and this woman on Etsy, I believe, made this amazing illustration that you can buy. We bought it and put it in a frame. There's one for, I think, a few different seasons. Speaking of Stars Hollow, we finished the Netflix series where they did a year 
in the life of the Gilmore Girls. Finished that tonight for those of you wondering. Yes, I do enjoy the show Gilmore Girls. It is very clever and hilarious. And did we enjoy the reboot? We did. I'll let Anna give her own take on it if she wants, but I'll just give my take on it and I won't give anything away. But a lot of people have been dissatisfied with the ending and I am not. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna give anything else away. And I said one thing that was really good, which was that a lot of people just had really high expectations for it. And you know, when you come into something with high expectations, if they're not met, you're disappointed. We came into it with just a certain expectation. And for me, those expectations were met. I wanted to hear them talk cleverly back and forth, the Gilmore Girls, and uh, have that witty banner that they always do. I wanted to see a bunch of the characters interact with each other again. I wanted to see them and just be like, oh, look at that, look, there's so, there's such and such. And overall, I wanted to be immersed once more in Stars Hollow, and I was, so I was satisfied. That being said, we finished it, and I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna head to bed. Anna hopefully will head to bed soon. She's in the corner on the floor painting, which, is exciting because I gotta tell you guys, she hasn't painted a good bit that much because, last month. yeah, last month because we were so busy with the move. So I am excited to see her painting, even if it is in the floor in the corner of the room at 12:15 at night. Oh well, I'll take what I can get. Look at you! It just makes me happy to see you painting. Aww. Well, I haven't been inspired here lately, but I just thought of this idea for our guest bedroom. I thought I would just whip it up. Here I am. Okay. It's not the greatest of my paintings, but uh, it's start. And with that said, uh, I think it is time to hit the bed. <laughs> Actually, it's hit the hay, but whatever. I'm gonna go to bed now. Hope you guys have enjoyed your ride. We'll talk to you very soon. It's gonna be a fun day tomorrow, I'm sure. Talk to you soon. God bless.